Barcelona is one of my favorite cities. And one of my favorite things in the city are the works by Gaudi. His structures are usually covered in mosaics or tricadis, a technique he perfected using broken tiles. So you can imagine my delight when I came across these mosaics using a similar technique in my own neighborhood. But who created them? What inspired it? How are they made? Well, I'm going to find out. I'm Magna Barros. I'm well into my 50s and loving it. I'm on a journey to discover the superpowers of aging and how we can all harness them to keep living our best lives without surrender. Join me on this exciting So 50 adventure. Think you're too old to pursue your dreams? Then meet Terry, my neighbor and the creator of our mosaics. Terry started making mosaics in her 60s. In this episode, we'll create a mosaic together. But before that, Terry has a little secret. Let's visit Terry's secret garden. Terry, these are beautiful. How did you come to create them? When I retired, I had plenty of time to start doing things and indulge in my passion for creativity. And these things take a lot of time. Why did you have to wait that long to start being an artist? Because I come from a migrant background. My parents met in a DP camp in Germany. When we came here, the priority was to make money, not art. art. The arts had to hold. The arts had to hold. Visiting your garden is like a trip to memory lane, isn't it? That and a bit of archaeology. I've collected things from old dump sites, very old things like these toothpaste mm -hmm. things. I've bought things like chess sets from Zimbabwe. I've bought rocks from New Guinea. They're all incorporated here everywhere. Funny story. Terry used to collect these pieces of ceramic from a dump site. How did that go? It was terrific at first, but then they caught me and threatened me with the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I think the beauty of working with uh, bits and pieces of uh, pottery and stones is that you give it a new life and they tell a story, right? They do. They, they all have a history. You tell me that at age 72, you're living your third phase. Yes. I what were a, the other ones? I was a school teacher at the beginning. After that, I went into foreign aid mm -hmm. and now I've retired and I'm going to be an artist. You I am an artist. You finally became who I, you were meant to be. I think so. Such an inspiring story, which proves we can be whatever we choose to be at any age. It also inspired me to want to learn something new. And with Terry's help, we're going to create a mosaic. Our mosaic will be held in place by a mix of cement, sand, lime and water. We've collected various pieces to use in the mosaic. An old watch, glass and shattered pots. The hardest part was to come up with a design that made sense when all I could see were pieces of broken ceramic. It's interesting that in the midst of chaos and broken pieces, the artist has a vision and she sees how each piece connects. For us, this will all make sense when the work is finished and we can appreciate it. Terry backpacked in Latin America, so I promised her some Brazilian cheese bread. I just hope she doesn't break my porcelain. <laughs> Stevie loves cheese bread. I do too. Born in a post-war camp, an immigrant, a teacher, a foreign aid worker, an artist at 65, now 72, Terry is taking on a new career challenge, painting. Her life is like her art, made up of so many pieces. But Terry's story shows that it's never too late to gather those bits and pieces, put them together, and continue to create the beautiful mosaic of life. 